Hello everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39. I've been busy. I have been busy. I have had this Fandango paper pad. I had two 12 by 12. Actually, I had about two and a half um, 12 by 12 paper pads. And it's a hot buy from Michaels. And I had three, well, again, two and a half, six by six paper pads. My goal for the month of August was to work through these and uh, accomplish a couple other things as I did that. So let me show you a couple of things that I have made. So I made, I made a lot, but I did make a couple of, of these quickie mini albums. Now you may have noticed on my channel I already have a tutorial up on this. It does not have a hinge binding system. It's just a quickie one. The good thing about this is if you have uh, four by six photos then they are so easy to to put in these books. You can just stick them in the pocket. It's got pocket pages and it's got these photo mats. Now these pages will fit a four by six photo. These photo mats are just about four by six so this is where you use a four by four photo or trim it down. And I really let the paper do the talking because the colors are bright and colorful and I can imagine if you go on a cruise or a beach trip um, this would be fun. So here's the back or the last page and then there's the back. So again real simple and both of these are the same. So that is one project that I made with these with that paper pad. Um, similar but different. So there is this one, oh darling, let's be adventurers. I always love that, that saying. So I just put this in so you could put a photo on it. I didn't want it to get too bulky because besides that, there are um, three, oops, no, five. This is a top loading pocket, which is different than what I normally do. So there are five of these on the top. And again, I did not mat this because I didn't want it to get too bulky. Colors are gorgeous, aren't they? Nice, bright, tropical. Makes you want to go scuba diving. Not that I've ever scuba dived. <laughs> scuba dove. Um, I don't scuba dive. But anyhow, so these are, this is another quick, fun, easy one. This is the one, I'm sorry, I said the other one was the one I did the tutorial in. This is the one I did the tutorial on. So it opens like this. It's a um, double cover. And in this tutorial, I show you if you don't have chipboard, how you what you can do without the chipboard. And basically, it's using the paper from the album cover, just gluing a couple together. And um, it's just getting these pages in, and this would perfectly fit a 4x6 photo. And the thing is, if you have this orientation of photo and you've got a couple others, stick the other ones in the back pocket. So that's what the center looks like. And then the pages go like that, you know, or however you want to do it. But you can get a bunch of photos in here. I think it was 16, plus whatever you can put in the pocket in the back. And for a vacation, that, that's all you need. You don't need too many more. So again, quickie mini album. You can make the mini album itself in 30 minutes and then decorate it. So um, my tutorial was 30 minutes and I, I think I can put this together. I bet I could do it in 15 if I uh, really timed myself. Anyhow, there's that one. Now, you know, I also have another tutorial on my website and I started a tutorial series a couple months ago and that is using this larger size mini album and the reason I did that two reasons first of all I thought it would be easier to do the folds and the bends with larger paper and also I had a couple of people asking for a larger style mini album so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone do a tutorial on this larger size mini album well it takes a lot of paper 
And so this tutorial that I did is how to use the journaling cards, the cut apart, you know, like the 4x4, 3x4, 4x6 cards that come with a paper pad most times, um, how to use a border strip, and, and I put that into this mini album. The series is, there's different page styles, and so this is showing you a lot of different page styles. So let's take you. I also sh show you in that tutorial series how to make this waterfall. And again, this waterfall you can easily put in uh, four by six photos. These are done in just different shades of turquoise and teal. So there's that. And um, the tutorial shows you how to use these kind of parts. So this one also has a magnet on it. There are large pockets in this mini album, so you can get a lot of photos. You know, again, these pages are 8x8, eight eight. Um, so you can get a, a good 5x7 on here. You could probably put two 4x6s. You might overlap a corner of it, but you can get a lot of photos in here. So again, I, sh I show how to make this. I give the measurements how to make that and show you how to use this is using the 4x6 cut apart. So that's a pocket for the cut apart. And then there's another journaling card. And that opens like that. There's a magnet underneath there. Here's a belly band. Simple, easy, but it's a nice presentation. And there is the hidden photo mat. I'm not going to pull it all the way out. This is using a border strip. So you can use a border strip to make a small pocket. Another journaling card. And you still can put a photo back here. This is a 4x4 four four cut apart. And this has a magnet behind it, and it keeps that page closed. And there's room to put photos there. And there is the hidden flap. So again, 4x4 four four cut apart. Lots of room. Lots of room. I did not count this one. When I list it on my Etsy shop, I will list and tell you how many photos you can put in here. Sometimes on the back of the journaling card, I will use pieces. This actually was a cut apart. In this one, I just used plain paper. Now you could put a 4x4 four four photo or even a 3x4 photo, or you can journal on the back of there. I love how these two pages coordinate, don't you? There we go. And who does not love those flamingos? Aren't they adorable? So this is a top folding, top lifting, top folding um, flap. Great room. Love the gold touches on here. And there we go with that. And that brings us to the back page. And don't you love this pattern? This is beautiful. And then to coordinate with that, I use some of the tropical colors for this uh, waterfall. And so there we go with that. Now with waterfalls, I do like to use a magnet. You can put, uh, I think it's 15 photos right there. I have to count. Um, there's the back page. There we go. So. There is the Happy Day large mini album. Still called a mini album. All right, so it is eight and a half by nine, and the pages are eight by eight. So there we go. With that and one, well, two more mini albums. This one, don't you love it? So it says, "Why hello." This is a more dimensional cover than I normally make. But um, I just wanted to, to make it pop. So there is this beautiful flamingo and then the shaker. It says, why hello inside. And this one can get a lot of photos. So let me show you what all is inside this mini album. This one is 7x7. Seven seven. Um, I made the 7x7 seven seven so I could make my pages 6 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. And the reason I did that is because I still had some paper left over. That's a six by six piece of paper. When you do 
a six and a quarter by six and a quarter, that paper will fit nicely in here. You don't have to trim it. I'm going to start at the beginning though. So um, I just want to do something a little different. I know the colors are really bright. They show up a lot brighter on the camera than they actually are. There's a little magnet here. And you could put a photo here. You could put small photos if you want, or maybe a journaling sheet. But I just wanted something a little different than what I normally do. There is this cute little flamingo paper clip. And there is a photo mat, another photo mat, and just a little tag. Just because I wanted it to coordinate with that. And of course, this is another pocket page mini album, so you will see there are five pages, so there are five pockets. Um, I tried to do this one without using magnets, knowing that some people, if I made a tutorial, some people don't have magnets available. So this is a photo mat, and there's a coordinating here, but then that opens up like that. And you could put more photos in here and definitely one there. But this photo mat holds that page shut. Isn't that fabulous? So I made matching pages there. You could put a picture there, of course, by all means. So that goes in like that. It's the way I had it. I think I had it like that. Um, but either way, and there's your photo mat. So this one, again, this one comes out, and now your flap opens. So room to put a picture. Now this is trimmed down a little bit. So if you had, you know, you ever take long pictures and um, like you get so much sky in the picture. Well, you can easily put that here. Just trim some of the sky off. That's what you got to do. So there is a photo matter journaling card. And that matches over there. And hidden photo mat. This one has a couple of pockets in it. I love this paper. It's got gold foiling on it. I just loved it. This is a 4 by 6 card, so you can put the pictures right on here. I did not back this one in black cardstock. I just, it's a double sided paper. And once you put pictures on here, it's going to make it a little sturdier. So it really didn't need, um, I didn't need to back it like on here. This one, it's made on a black piece of cardstock and I put the blue paper on it both sides. But since that's double sided, I didn't need to. The six by six paper was double sided. So another photo mat. All right, so this page actually is like this. And these move, and then this comes out. So this is a small, I think it's five and a half by five and a half photo mat, which goes right in here. And you can use this to put a photo on, and, and that for journaling or photos or whatever you want to do it. So that is that set of pages, and there is the hidden photo mat. And then the last page, this opens up like this. And that opens up like that. I think I may have told you that when I'm doing a mini album, I like to sort of build up to a crescendo. I like to, like fireworks. I, I like the end of it to be a big bang. So I like to have a little more flips and folds in the back of it rather than the front. So you could put a lot of photos in, in those pages. And this is sort of open on the side so you could stick it in there. And then I also love to make these library style pocket closures and a pocket in the back because that way if you have any extra pictures left over that, you know, you might want to have done it in chronological order or you wanted to put, you know, the girls together and the boys on one page or you took a trip on in one set of pages or whatever. And then you have pictures that just don't match with anything. Well, this is a great place to put all those photos because there actually is room in the back. And then there is the photo mat. Which I think, there we and so there's a photo mat to go in here. Um, but you can use that to just stick a lot of photos, or not just photos, maybe tickets. Maybe you went deep sea diving in a ticket from the boat or a business card from the guy at the bar. I, I don't know, you know, whale watching trip, whatever you do. 
no judgment here. And back page, just love the colorful paper. It, it really is a fun, and who doesn't love the shaker card? Isn't that great? Um, so I did do two of those as well. So even though I had a lot of paper, I got a lot of projects out of it. Now, I am still working on that paper pad. I have not really a lot, just, just scraps. Just mainly scraps. You know, I, I have probably five of these. But I thought, oh, you could cut those flamingos out, and that would be gorgeous on a card. So I'm going to work on cards. And I will probably do another video once I finish that. I didn't want to make this video too long. But, um, yeah, got a lot out of that one paper pad. If you want to see better pictures, so I do post these on my Etsy site. And, I mean, even if you're not interested in buying them, if you want to go look on the Etsy site just to get a better look at what's in these um, of course, you could play the video back, but still, I don't mind. You know, go to the Etsy site. If you have the paper pad, I don't care if you make the exact same thing. Uh, there is the tutorial on this one. And the tutorial on this larger one, the 8.5 by 9 one, on my site. I will link that in the description box or um, maybe even above. So that's what we have for you today. Those are the mini albums that I made with the Fandango 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 paper pads. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It really will help me out to continue making these projects. And I'm getting into making the tutorials. If you'd like to see more, uh, go ahead and comment below. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.